Human and Social Services Committee meeting to order, please. This is getting the information out to us. I guess she didn't want that paper here no more. I'll move number one. Well, we can't do that yet. Prevention. <laughs> oh, minute. I'll move the one before that. Good for you. <laughs> First thing we need to do is approve the minutes from last month's meeting. So if somebody wants to do that, Supervisor McDevitt, seconded by Supervisor Lowe. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. <laughs> And I apologize to everyone for running so late, but I didn't have any control over that. Can't yeah, blame me on that one there. That's right. Do you mind if Chris goes first? Uh, no. Nope. You can sit right there. That's fine. He's, We're good. You can stay right there. Yep. Yeah. Got his paperwork out first, right? right. He doesn't have much there. Right. <laughs> Madam Chair. Go ahead, Chris. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I just had one item for approval, and that is to execute an agreement with Council on, the, on Prevention. Uh, we actually did this last year. It's a contract not to exceed $3,000, otherwise we would have to go out uh, for a formal RFP. And it's to provide leadership development and counseling, uh, which may include drug and alcohol abuse counseling to the uh, youth that are in our task uh, class. All right. So I move it, please. <laughs> Supervisor McDevitt, sef seconded by Supervisor McGowan. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Thank you. And then the other two items are just informational, but I do want to uh, point out the first one especially. Uh, we have been asked, this is according to the uh, Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, that the, the chairman of the board has to acknowledge the bylaws of the Workforce Development Board, and you see copies of the bylaws are attached. Um, this was authorized in a prior resolution, uh, but council and I both felt it would be helpful to give the information to the committee and, and to bring it up as an informational item in case there were questions or comments. Okay, so if they haven't had a chance, so if they take it home and read it over and if there are questions, Absolutely. they can get back yeah. to you, right? I know I know. Uh, Supervisor Loeb had a, had a question. He had emailed me out to bring it up again. All right, Mr. Loeb. Yeah, thank you, Chairman. Actually, all of, all of this was online, and I won't belabor the, the, the point as far as talking about it today mm -hmm. because of our time. But right. Uh, this is required by federal law, but I would like uh, Chris to, uh, regardless of the federal requirements, and th at our next meeting, okay. if this workforce should just cease operations, who would notice? How would the community oh, okay. be impacted? Oh, so it was a broader question than what I thought you were asking. Yeah. Probably, yes. Well, I would have added more questions yeah. to it, but I mean, um, you know, under the guys at the C.B. Peters uh, gentleman's uh, dress store, they had bow ties. And well, what if he didn't sell that? Hmm? You probably know us. If he didn't sell that, nobody would notice. And pretty soon you've got that game, Jigma, or whatever that thing where you pull out the pieces and the whole structure falls apart. But the next meeting, okay. you don't need to help. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Chris? And then, uh, and then the other informational item is um, the next uh, meeting of the Workforce Development Board will be Wednesday, December 12th at 8 a.m. Uh, second floor community room at 333 Glen Street, where our office is. Um, there's a big community room on the second floor, and that's where the board meeting will be. Um, anyone who wishes to attend, um, it's open to the public, but it's helpful to know if people are coming, so I can be ready. Okay, so if anyone is interested, make sure they let Chris know that you'll be And I'll send out the agenda. Okay, thank you. Any questions from the committee? All right. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving Thanks, to you, Chris. Thank you. And Janelle, we're going to turn it over to you. All right, we have two resolution requests. Uh, the first is was the late breaker. Um, so the updated agenda packets are handed out. And the resolution request is to amend the current contract um, to be effective January 1st of 2019 with North Country Home Services, Inc. 
to reflect the 2019 home health aid rate of 31.20 an hour. You can refer to attachment six for the backup and documentation of the request. I'll move that. I motion by Supervisor Sobel second. By Supervisor McDevitt. Any questions? All, right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Thank you. And the second resolution request is for a budget adjustment. If you want to refer to attachment one, and Tom is here to go through that. And when she gets done with that, we'll let her go ahead to the report of revenues and expenditures and the comparison report. Okay, sounds good. Tom? Uh, just the adjustments are for expanding the airport that has moved some money in our bioterrorism. And then also for our WIC program, we have uh, a little bit of money, $15. They just need to over time so that we're not negative. Yet. All right. Uh, Supervisor Sokol makes a motion, seconded by Supervisor Lowe. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Tom, we'll turn it back to you. Attachment number two is our financial as of November 13th. Um, it's really between last month and this month, only one payroll, so it's not much of a difference. Uh, we did close the month of September, so that's in our revenues year to date, and working on October. Uh, again, bringing down the salaries. Um, we are over by 40000 over last year at the same time, but we are only 70.78% of the budget, where it was 83% last year, and technically when you look at 10 months, you should be around 83%, so we're under budget, which is good. Um, attachment number three is our comparison with current to last year at this time, and um, again, the salaries, like I said, uh, contractual is due primarily to preschool program. Uh, we're waiting for some rates. Some have come through. We're still waiting. I have to call someone today about the rate. Um, those invoices are being held up right now. And employee benefits, again, are, are below because of the all the positions are saving on benefits right now. I usually also note that what our uh, retiring health insurance has cost, but it hadn't been posted by the time I did that, so I don't have those numbers. That's it. Okay. Any questions from the committee? Janelle? All right. Um, moving right along to status of referrals. This is on attachment four. If you look at where we are compared to last October, uh, October 2017, we're 9% up. So our home care agency is doing well. That's not that good. And then the next attachment is our emergency response and preparedness activities for the month. And we kind of went ahead and included December's anticipated activities as well. And then for program updates, um, and I want to thank all the departments that assisted me with the 12 <laughs> intent to fill forms. Uh, many of them were created um, with the new budget for 2019. Right. And we're looking to get the approvals in place so that we're able to actually do the hiring at the first of the year. Um, so that's kind of why you have so many. Um, two of the nursing positions were due to retirement. Um, one is an anticipated retirement of December 21st. And one is a part-time nurse that retired at the end of September. And um, that's pretty much what I have for that. So we need to have a motion, right? Right. <coughs> so we need a motion to approve all 11 on this. 12. 12? 12? I know, right. Okay. So Supervisor Sokol, I assume you're making that motion. Please. Second to that motion, Supervisor McGowan. Any discussion? A lot of these are um, being created in the new budget, so you're looking to fill them in 2019. Right. right. Is that, did we discuss that in committee already? We, yes, we did, and we discussed it at budget time. When she went over the budget, she told us that this is what was going to be happening. She had saved money on, on one person leaving, and so she took that to spread it out over other positions. So yes, it was discussed with us. O overall, this was a net reduction in their personnel cost uh, from 18 to 19. For the most part, when they created a new position, they eliminated an old position. Right. Not in every case. Um, there were three positions that we gave back. Um, none of them had people in yeah. them. Uh -huh. And we were able to kind of creatively create other positions to try to help. And I believe savings around 89000 Initially, I think we've added more, so it was over 100000 Right. They did a very good job with that. So with all the flipping and flopping, we were still able to save. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Anything else, Janelle? 
Um, the only thing that I would like to say is as we enter the final month of the year and reflect on the challenges, growing pains, and changes of our health services department that we experienced in 2018, I just want to express appreciation and give full credit to our staff and all of our various programs. And that includes support, fiscal, and administrative. We've had a dedicated and resilient bunch of staff that have ensured all of our programs have gone uncompromised through all these changes. And I'd also like to express appreciation to the County Administration, Supervisor Frazier, and the Health Services Committee for your support of our program services and initiatives. Thank you. That was very nice of you. We appreciate that. All right. Does anyone on the committee have anything they'd like to bring up? No, just an observation. I want to second and third and fourth what you just said. Uh, you know, in my experience up here at the county, the, the nurses have been best managed, best prepared, counting numbers. I mean, you don't uh, ask these guys a question where they, where they don't come up with a, with a great answer and always so well prepared. So thank you for that. And I'll second that. They do do a wonderful job down in that department. It's a real, it's, we're lucky to have all of them that are down there. I'll say that. Okay, then, if you're all set, thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy ladies. Thanksgiving. 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 See you next month. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. She's not. I suppose we can uh, adjourn. And have or, lunch. Or, or um, what do you call it? You don't adjourn. You um, recess. Yeah. We can recess. Oh, that's right. He has to drive up, doesn't he? Yeah. He actually does need this. Oh, we Rob York. Is there anything on it? Yes, he yeah. Has, he has some yeah. things on his agenda. I can present some of it if you'd like to get started. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just sign this for a minute, then I'll be done. Not yet. The alternative is to go show these. Right, I'll give you this. No, we'll. Brian said he could yeah, deal right. with some of these, so if okay, you want to do, do that, we'll we had the agenda we'll just online. get my paperwork here. Okay, I got it. Uh, okay, number one, uh, this is a resolution request to approve the 2019 contracts with community mental health, substance abuse, developmental disability service provider agencies. Uh, and I can tell you I've gone through Schedule A, and they all match up to what's in the adopted budget. Someone like to make that motion? I will. Mr. McGowan, Mr. McDevitt, all those in favor? Aye. 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 So what Aye. happens if Rob shows up and uh, the room is dark? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Well, we'll say we did all your work for you. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? All right, Ryan. The second uh, to approve the 2019 contracts for youth mental health respite services. Again, uh, uh, the attachment o OCS respite contracts. Northeast Parent and Child, Wade House Capital District, Vander Hyden Hall. Um, the uh, not to exceed amounts uh, are, are contained within the budget. All right, very good. Uh, motion by Mr. Sokol, seconded by Mr. McGowan. Any discussion? All, right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Thank you. The uh, third item, uh, request to enter into a uh, lease for office space. Uh, the budget for this uh, item is 29104 uh, if you do the math on the uh, rate, it comes out to twenty nine thousand one hundred three and ninety six cents. So he saved us four cents. Okay. Attaboy. All right, motion, Mr. Loeb, seconded by Mr. Second McGowan. Savings. Right. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Did we skip number three? That was number three. Oh, that was. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry if I said number four. Madam Chair. No, I just thought when it said program coordinator, that's, that's the next question. Connect. That's why I thought. Yeah. Isn't that, or is it, is it a different? There's, there's a new agenda. Oh, yeah. I, oh, he's not here, so I have his old agenda. Yeah. Okay, yeah, thank he's you. Not actually, he's not going to do a personnel request. At this oh, meeting. he's not. Okay, no, that's no. where. I do not thank know you. what the old All right, we have one <laughs> more. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. I had a question. Where is it? Where is the office space? Is, is the office space is... Um, it's right next to Community Action. Yeah, it's Maple, Maple Street. Street. Um, it's on Maple, not Street. Maple, Street. Maple Street. Is it? You get on Maple. Oh, I'm sorry. Community action. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you just—it's almost down to the end of Maple on the left. Okay. Uh, nice, uh, ni nice quarters. Very uh, well maintained. Uh, very efficient. Okay. It used to be Leland Maple, wasn't it? Don't know if it did or not. I don't know. Okay. okay, we'll go on to the last one now. The uh, number four on this list, uh, we've already had a transfer this year. This is to deal with um, uh, 
inmates who are incompetent to stand trial, they have mental health issues, uh, they get sent to an, a facility in Utica. It's a state mandate that uh, our mental health department pays for that. Uh, he figures the, until the end of the year he's going to be about $38,000 short. That's going to come out of a combination of uh, accounts in his budget that he can find savings. Uh, he's, he was, had been working on that. I know he had specifics, but I'll tell you it'll be a few thousand, three, four, maybe five thousand, the remainder of which would uh, come from contingency. So I think that perhaps if you want to uh, authorize uh, transfer uh, in, a, in a gross amount uh, not to exceed 38,000, and uh, we can send you what those uh, actual account numbers and amounts will be. That works. All right. <laughs> Mr. Sokol, second, right, Mr. Lowe. Discussion. Thank you, Madam Chair. Is, is this a share between Warren and uh, Washington? Uh, it, it, well, this, this particular out? expense is only our expense. Yes, yeah, Washington County, I understand, made out uh, a lot worse than we did. Yeah, and, and the patients are sent to Utica. There's a mental health facility there. The, uh, this is a, a scenario where we peaks and valleys, where there'll be years when we have no expense at all. Right. And, then, and then all of a sudden, bingo, you know. The, so I, I think what the mental health people have done is they've attempted to communicate with the judges involved that, uh, you know, there, are, there is uh, dollars involved so that, that they're reasonably circumspect with, you know, the, the inmates, patients, patients, not inmates, uh, that are sent to the facility or, or uh, yeah, taken care of, but we're not. Uh, but there is a significant significant expense, uh, you know, at the mental health facility in Utica. Thank you, Peter. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carry. I'll do my best on the informational item, the PFC Joseph P. Dwyer Veterans Peer-to-Peer -peer Program. Uh, there were initially five pilot counties in the state. Saratoga County was one of them. I helped set up their program. Uh, and uh, uh, Rob and uh, our Veterans Department uh, with Denise DeResta, they've been uh, in communication, I know, with that pro program as well as the way a couple of other counties have done this. Uh, and they're leaning towards doing uh, something along the lines of what Saratoga County did, which is to create a part-time position to oversee this program. The, uh, the goal of the state funding is to pair up uh, veterans who are recently returned from service with veterans who have already made that adjustment to coming back home, setting up a, a, a it's, that's why they call it a peer-to-peer -peer program. They set up a mentor-mentee relationship and try to, and there's, a, there's the man of the hour. He can continue. <laughs> I just started giving it your informational update on Joseph P. Dwyer. <laughs> and we went through your other items on the agenda, Rob. Uh, Ryan kind of knew what was coming down, so we carried on. Was that okay? Oh, okay. Okay. That's fine. My apologies. No, it was not at all. Everything no. got behind. We apologize. Right. Number six. Where's the last item? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for running. <laughs> he called and said, forget it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the update on the uh, Joseph P. Dwyer. Uh, Washington County uh, seems to be in agreement with sharing a position. Uh, their county attorney offered to take a first stab at an intermunicipal agreement that we would put together. Roger Wicks would put that together, send it over to Mary, then they would, you know, go back and forth to, to find an agreeable law in a municipal. And then uh, we have received the funding, and I trans. Um, they just kind of parked it in a code somewhere. But I talked to Rob Lynch, and he created a new code under veterans, and uh, so the funding is now under the veterans. And so Denise will be bringing a request to create a position for a coordinator, probably through the next committee cycle. <coughs> and, uh, assuming we have to sort of the municipal, you know, uh, worked out, and, and if we, uh, then I guess we'll bring a request for that as well to approve the intermunicipal 
and create the position, and then we should be uh, we should be ready to launch. Oh, sounds like a good thing, doesn't it? Should be good. <laughs> we didn't do number three though, Rob. So we do have to go back and do that one. If you we want have to go back it. and do number three. Right. Okay. And again, I'm sorry that was a, an addition, an amendment to my agenda, but I realized uh, that we did not include a request to reappoint. Joan Grishcott to the Community Services Board. These are four-year appointments, and uh, Joan has been a, a board member for, for some time, very supportive of our uh, office and their services. So we'd like to have her reappointed. Right. Uh, Mr. Lowe will make the motion, second by Mr. McDevitt. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Joan, Joan is a, a friend of mine, and uh, I she, she does a great job on, on, on your board and uh, very outspoken uh, and uh, basically is, a, I think, a very stabilizing and strong voice for uh, uh, for the, uh, the population and uh, like, uh, knows how to pinch pennies twice and uh, speaks out when uh, something needs to be recognized. So she's not shy. Right. No. <laughs> she's a wonderful person. I know her very well, too, and I think she does a good job on that board. So, Rob, anything else? Well, speak to the budget. Oh, would you please? Yeah, yeah I, I had mentioned that uh, Rob was doing a little more uh, digging in his own budget to come up with some of that 38000 1000 would come from uh, travel, 500 from psych eval non-criminal, and 1000 from salaries, with the remaining 35500 from contingency. So thank you, Rob. Okay, very good. Do you have anything else, Rob? Thank you. I'm sorry we made you rush over here. We were so running so far behind. But right. thank you and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, yeah, Rob. You too. And I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Sorry. Supervisor Sokol, secretary, supervisor. Oh, was that fast you. enough? <laughs> you are you are good. And I will I told you we were five minutes ground, girl. <laughs>